so this is our dill pickle vodka. It's uh, one of our best selling products. And this right here is our dill pickle vodka tank. So it's actually our old mash tun. Um, the paddles inside of the mash tun actually fell off of this one after about a year and a half. And the dill pickle vodka was selling so well at that point that we decided that we should just use this to make our dill pickle vodka. So um, it's a completed batch that's in here right now, but usually um, when it's marinating, you'll see um, cucumbers and dill and garlic in there all making um, the product that ends up being our dill pickle vodka. So all natural ingredients um, are used in there. That's what gives it the color, nothing additional added. It's just from the cucumbers and dill itself. So enjoy. Yeah, so that was uh, 2010. We kind of were at a crossroads in our lives. Um, had moved to Saskatchewan in 2008. Um, and we're trying to think what we could do with our lives that would give us some flexibility. And um, we were expecting our first child at the point, at that point. Perfect so something we could do with a kid while make alcohol, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we sat down with SLGA and uh, they kind of let us know it was possible. So we started looking for a house that had a garage <laughs> that we could put a distillery in because that is pretty much the only way we could figure out we would be able to do that. We started with a, a shoestring budget and... Uh, Literally put every last penny we had into converting a garage into a distillery. Um, and yeah, we've worked. we continue to be surprised by the success. <laughs> I like to joke that we started with nothing and we've got most of that left. Most of it. <laughs> so yeah, we literally, I think a week before we went to meet with SLGA about starting a distillery and what that might look like in the province of Saskatchewan, we found out we were also pregnant. I remember distinctly walking into that meeting thinking, okay, we're going to have a baby and we're going to start a distillery. Is this going to work? Yeah. Um, but yeah, they we've always, Riker is our oldest. He's almost eight now, hard to believe. Um, but yeah, we've always told him that Last Mountain Distillery is kind of his twin. The ideas were conceived at the same time he was born, and we um, broke ground to put water and sewage into our garage a week after he was born. Um, and they've kind of grown up together. 